who would like some free distance with the driver? Because free distance is exactly what you can get if you can train yourself to hit up on the golf ball. And that's exactly what we're gonna show you how to do in this video. So technology in the game over the last few years has really enabled us to get a better understanding of ball flight and club delivery and what might be the best for each individual golf right there. And we know with the driver that if we can get that golf club to hit up on the golf ball, we are able to tap into distance that we couldn't before. And the beauty of this is you do not need to swing the club any faster, it's just maximizing what you currently have. Now, the slower the swing speed, the more this is actually of benefit to you. Um, the higher swing speeders don't generally tend to get as much benefit. So if you're someone out there who is looking for more distance and you feel that your swing isn't as quick as it could be, this video is absolutely gonna help you go through these steps, hit up on the golf ball, and you'll be able to get some more distance without swinging any harder. So the first thing we need to do is just get that ball teed up nice and high. If we're gonna be getting that golf club to travel up into the golf ball, we have to have that ball teed up. So you can see the golf ball I've got here is teed up, um, and even that one probably could be a little bit higher. So we'll just nudge that a little higher still. And we want, you know, around about half the ball above the top of the club head. That really helps us, and it's gonna give us the chance to hit up on the golf ball. So then we can start to think about the setup. How do we stand to the golf ball? And this is really, really important. And the checkpoints that I want you to have here would be where is the golf ball relative to your feet? So ball position. And also, where is that golf ball relative to the buttons or the zip on your top, so your sternum? So as I take my address to this golf ball, I really want to make sure that it's very close to that lead heel in terms of its ball position. So if we draw a line back, it's going to be just inside that lead heel. We also want to take a pretty wide stance with the driver. The reason we do that is because the wider the stance, the more it puts your sternum behind the golf ball. So you'll notice as I stand here, the difference between where that golf ball is and where the buttons on my shirt are. If I stand too narrow, my buttons suddenly become closer to the golf ball. And it's really important with the driver when we're looking to hit up on the golf ball, that we have the sternum significantly behind the golf ball. And that's really important. Having the ball forward in the stance is great, but it's not going to help you if you suddenly lean forward to your upper body, as we, so, as we see so many golfers do, and the buttons get too much in line with the golf ball. So yes, get the ball forward, but also make sure that your sternum is behind the golf ball. And a little bit of tip back away from the target with your upper body is really going to help. Not excessive, but a little bit is really going to help. So then we can start to think about what we do in the golf swing. How do we actually create a movement which encourages that upward hit? Now, we're just gonna go through a couple of ideas, something in the backswing, something in the downswing, and then an impact drill to help you. The first thing I'd like you to do is visualize the center line of your body. That's pretty much gonna be the middle of your heels. And imagine that line is vertically up. And I want you to, pretty early in the golf swing, get your lead shoulder to hit that center line. So you can see as I'm making those back swings, my lead shoulder is moving into the center line of my body quite quickly. Very common with the driver to get the set a little bit out. And then as a golfer swings, they don't generally get that shoulder towards the center line of their body early enough. From here, as we approach the top of the back swing, it's incredibly difficult to then change all those movements and hit up on the golf ball. That initial lead shoulder movement makes it very likely that this golfer is going to have a downward hit and they're not going to be maximizing their distance. So the first thing I want you to do in your golf swing is get the lead shoulder into the center line of your body very early. Now you'll see as I do that, I'm not moving my head a huge amount. So I'm not doing it through lateral movement. I'm doing it through a good rotation and moving that shoulder into the center line of my body really early. In terms of the downswing, what I would really love you to do is just very much focus on keeping the head behind the golf ball. And the best way to do that is actually just to look at the back of the golf ball. So as we look at different parts of the golf ball, it can really influence our golf swing. Because we're looking to hit up on it, I would love you to actually look at the back of the golf ball. Now I've placed this golf ball here so that the logo is on the back. And very simply, as I get to the top of the golf swing, if I make this movement forwards, I lose sight of that logo. And that would be, you know, very, typical of a golfer who tends to hit down on the golf ball. They start their downsing very much in the upper body, the head moves forward and we start to strike down on the golf ball. So keeping that logo in your vision as you start down is going to keep your head behind the golf ball and that means that your sternum is going to be behind the golf ball which is what we tried to establish at address 
and it gives your golf club far more chance of moving up over the golf ball. So setup, backswing and downswing, those are the ideas, those are the concepts I want you to use to help you hit up on the golf ball. But in order to train that and test whether you're doing it correctly, you can use a simple head cover. I'm gonna take my head cover and place it around about a foot in front of the golf ball. And if I can deliver my golf club with an upward hit, I should be able to miss that head cover. A downward hit, I'm going to collide with the head cover and going to get some great feedback and some instant feedback, which in practice is absolutely vital. So let's go ahead. Ball position is good. Sternum is behind the ball. Lead shoulder to center line. Head behind the ball and hit up over that head cover. And perfect. Now for many of you, if you do that correctly, it should actually give you a slightly higher ball flight, which is kind of what we're after. We're looking to get that club working up into the ball. You may see the ball take off a little higher, but for many golfers, higher is better and it will give you more distance. So if you can use those ideas in practice, use the head cover to train it. And if you can start to move your attack angle more to a positive, physics tell us that that will give you more distance with the same swing speed, you're gonna have short lines into the greens, you're gonna have way more birdies, you're gonna shoot lower scores, and you're gonna enjoy your golf a little bit more on the golf course, and who doesn't want that? So hitting up with the driver, everyone can do it, you can do it using those ideas, and get a little bit more distance from the tee. Thanks for watching, usual stuff is down below. Comments box, like button, and also if you're not a subscriber, I would love you to do that, it is absolutely free, and I really believe that these videos and this community that we have here can help you play some better golf. Thanks for watching.